Hey everybody, welcome in to Barry and Mark's Happy Hour video blog. I'm Mark Tennant. And Barry Edwards of edwardscom.net. And we're coming to you this Friday afternoon from ABC The Tavern, located in Uptown in University Circle in the heart of Cleveland, OHIO. And uh, the ABC Tavern is located just behind the Jimmy John's on Euclid Avenue. Great food, wonderful beer selection. Check them out on the web and in our show notes as well, abcthetavern.com. Well, very busy week. We had a trip up to, a road trip up to Erie this week, and, uh, and, and before you know it, it's Friday. My gosh. Yeah, the week really flew. Barry, when we, we'll get right to it because we have a lot of information in our show notes. We know your time is valuable, but we're going to get right into it. Um, Barry, I wanted to talk about websites um, and the do's and don'ts, and especially with the service industry, restaurants, yes. bars, trades, people, and yes. so forth. You know, there are some do's and don'ts. When, when folks call you and do a, an evaluation of their website, um, you know, I'm sure you see some good things, and I'm sure you see some bad things. From the do's standpoint, what, what are some of the do's you could share with people? Specific to the service industry, where it's business to consumer. This is important to make that distinction. Uh, first and foremost, the, the website, the homepage, needs to have a clickable phone number and address on it. Right. Uh, especially the restaurant industry, people are accessing that information more often than, than not via their phone. Must be yeah, in the car. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so when you're looking for the site, and most, uh, in far too many restaurants simply don't have a web presence, which is horrible for them. Uh, and those that do simply do not put their store hours and their address and phone number right on the home page where it's very easy to find and simply click on it. The address should go straight to Google Maps to give you directions on how to get there. Yeah. The phone number should be a hot link so that it automatically will call uh, when clicked on. So that's, that's really the number one thing. Uh, the next thing I would say I'm going to back up. That's not the number one thing. That's the number two thing. Okay. The number one thing is being mobile, mobile. friendly. Mobile. Well, yeah, I think yes. we actually kind of said that, but you're right. We kind of yep. implied it, yep. but I want to stress that is you got to have, if your website's two years old, it's not mobile friendly. Yeah. So you got to have a mobile version of that. Uh, as, as we said, it's just too many people that are accessing it via mobile devices. Now, another thing that is very important is just quite simply easy navigation. We spent uh, a lot of years, I think, for some reason in the service industry, trying to get a little too fancy, a little too creative, mm -hmm. trying to dazzle people. But, you know, your information has to be easy to find. In particular, again, I keep talking about restaurants, but I think a website is so important for a restaurant. Facebook pages, too. Yep. But concerning the website, the menu. The menu should not be a PDF that has to be downloaded. Oh, it gosh, should I, be I searchable text. I, Everybody does. Yeah. It should be searchable text uh, that you, again, can pull up on your phone. It would be very, very easy. It pretty much covers, I'd say, the essence of the do's. What, what about a blog? Quickly, can you talk about a blog for it? Is it important in the service industry to it's have a blog? very, very important. In fact, when I think of the service industry and blogs, the first thing I think about are case histories for people like tradespeople. Right. Plumbers. Okay. construction people, uh, electricians, what have you. Like recent uh, jobs and so <clears throat> forth? Exactly. And and these are the people that uh, are crunched for time the most, I think, and, and complain about uh, finding the time to blog the most. But uh, again, uh, for an attainable goal, I say write down your case history, a blog post, okay. once a week. Okay. End your week that way, creating a blog post on a case history of perhaps the most interesting bathroom remodeling job that you did or whatever that has maybe even specific materials applied to it because these become very unique, long tail keywords, searchable content searchable. that will get you number one in a Google search for that particular kind of job. Gotcha. So you build up your archive. Uh, of searchable material that way. It's so, yes, it's hugely important. Okay, so at the same time, when you're looking at the good things to tell people about their websites, what are the what are the things to tell them that are the don'ts? Uh, there's only a couple, really. Uh, first of all, lay off the flash. Okay. Uh, for several years there, everybody was uh, pretty uh, concerned with having a very cool flash animation intro, but analytics showed that people mostly just skipped those. Okay. And it's also not searchable content. It also just weighs down your web page mm -hmm. so, for load times. So skip the flash altogether. And the second is, and this is pretty important, don't auto-load music or video. 
Okay. And uh, again, a lot of times restaurants, people are at work and thinking about where am I going to have dinner tonight? Where am I taking the wife? And uh, sneaking a, a quick peek at your website, you don't want right. music blaring out when the boss is you know over your shoulder right. and so on. It just okay. it's a turn off for people. So those are my All right. All right. Um, well, um, I, I guess that's it. You know, actually, I, I wanted to include something in there, but we're going to put it in the show notes. I've got a great tip for uh, bloggers out there, for people that said, especially in the trades industry, that they don't have time to blog in our show notes. And check them out at edwardscom.net in our show notes for this blog. And uh, I'll share that with you, plus some other good stuff as well. Um, and that's really it. And once again, we're coming to you today from ABC The Tavern. They have two locations. We are at the one in Uptown in University Circle. Beautiful. Great place, great selection of beer, wonderful menu of food, and uh, Kentucky bourbon ale. Absolutely, and it's good. So, thanks so much for watching. We'll be somewhere else next week. We hope you'll be with us. And once again, this is Mark Tennant, Barry Edwards, and it's happy hour. Yes, it is. Have, Have a, a great weekend. weekend. Bye.